Yeah, said I gotta do better. Yeah, that's the motto. I get to the curse. My foot in the pedal and never let up. I dropped the L, now it's Toro. Dubs come in first like it's walk em all. I tell them all. Yeah, can't come in last, no. Come in first, I ain't no slow po. Oh, it's Toro. I said, oh, it's Toro. I said, oh, it's Toro. I dropped the L and it's down, I ain't never fade. Okay, this is something I was just thinking about. You know how, like, basically, when you're having self-growth, you're on that journey, and you're trying to be the best version of yourself, you're just, you're generally, the, basically, that could be summed up as you just trying to improve and increase your vibration. And what that entails is realizing that we are all just a frequency. What you are is a frequency, a vibration. How fast. Yes. But the thing is, we are, we are, we're energy, period. Mm. We are not just one vibration. We are made up of a conglomerate of vibrations. Like a collective? Each, each and one of me, you, me, everything, I feel. Oh, I see what you're saying. So I am like a, a conglomerate. You're one, too. Yes. It's like, that's basically different what Different energies and vibrations. But I think we have like our different vibrations. Let's say like my vibration is overall around the same like you know what i mean like the same way your temperature like is the same your energy is going to be the same all across your body does that make sense you see what i'm saying yes and what i was also going to say is like what helps with goes with your what you're saying is we have the ability to control what vibration we're conscious of and what mm, what we're what focusing view on. of vibrations are we are conscious mm -hmm. of and what that also helps you out doing is what we were just watching on this video, which I also do agree, is that for one time is not a real thing. It's, it's a concept. It's a concept. It's a concept. And it's a consciousness. You can have that to your consciousness. That, that, that thought right there, that belief is a vibration. And let me tell you something real quick. So like going back to time being a concept, whenever I'd be running late, <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> It was, I've only done it for like a year or something like that. I would sing, you know, everything's gonna be a breeze. It's fly to seas. Fix the roof on this fly to seas. Yes, please. <laughs> you I know the, really? the Wizard of Waverly Place song? I would sing that in my head. Or maybe yes, if I was alone, please. I'd sing it. <laughs> Shut up. I'd sing it by myself. And time would slow down. Or at the very least, I would be doing things at a quick enough pace that I wasn't running late anymore. Interesting. It was like... <laughs> it was very, it worked very, very well. Interesting. So, oh my God. All right, all right. I haven't, I've never told you that, huh? No, no, no. <laughs> it's time magic. It's going out of pod. <laughs> okay. Can you hold it? My hands are, can you, can you hold it steady? Yes, all right, I can all right. hold it steady. All right, I wanted, I wanted to go back to what I was saying about like how time is like, not just time, but those thoughts are whatever beliefs you have, each of those beliefs are vibration. And mm -hmm. that, that's in your subconscious, right? What's in your subconscious is has it holds a lot of weight as to what your overall vibration is because that's what you carry along with you. Your being, your node of energy, of vibration, has its own ability to sort through and to choose which vibrations it wants to keep with it. Mm -hmm. I so okay. Hold the phone real quick because I need to open my hand. I'll, I'll hold it with this one. Okay. So I when I was working when I was working at the assistant point. At my job, I, um, I've been getting a lot of residue energy, most of it, look at how pretty my nails look. <laughs> okay. Residue energy from people because I'm working so closely with these people. I'm filing their nails, I'm like cleaning their hands. Sometimes I'm wiping butts, like, you know what I mean? Like I'm working really closely with these people. So I'm getting, I mean, I'm conscious of it too. A lot of residue energy from these people, and a lot of them are really stinking sweet. And there's a, a resident that, like, she used to volunteer at an assisted living. She was so sweet. And I filed her nails, and I felt just this charitable feeling coming off of her and coming to me. And we, she didn't even say anything to me the whole time. We didn't talk. I was just, I mean, I talked to her, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just felt this like love not only of what i was doing but of how i was helping does that make sense like mm -hmm. it wasn't this fuzzy warm feeling 
it, I knew it was directly coming from her. It was almost like as if the nail residue that was like getting on me, like, you know what I mean? When you're mm -hmm. filing nails, right, nail residue comes off and like, it felt like that was like, not merging with my cells, but like collecting on me. Does that make sense? So like, mm -hmm. I you have a tell... piece of her with me forever now. Mm. I definitely see that. Cause like, you know, when you're, you, it depends on how you decide you want to, you know, be grabbing that energy from her. Mm -hmm. Do I want to pick case... up the energy of her being feisty or do I want to remember her as someone who's sweet and who cares a lot about charity? Mm, not even just that, like the actual like method of transference. Like, do is I it going to be through the air? No, like how? Like, is it going to be oh. through the air, through her words? In that case, it was like, because like that was part of her body. It's gonna have her energy on you. Yeah. It gets onto you, and then like I feel like my view of it. I, this is how I visualize it. I visualize it like little little pieces of her nails just like flying on you, and it's like pixie dust. Yeah, but then, it felt but like then pixie dust. It's like the pixie dust attached attaches to you. It, just, it isn't attached to you. Like, it just it's sits like on what makes skin. you fly. No, no, no. Like little, when little, you're in Peter Pan. That too. That, that's nice. Let me see. Let finish what I'm saying. It's gonna blow your mind. So like it touches you, right? It's just sitting on your skin. And it has the energy with that, with the pixie dust. Because, you know, like, you've seen, like, I don't know, theories on TV or something like that. It sees mm -hmm. Timmy Turner. Like, it'll be glowing. Yeah. And that's, like, the magic in it. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, the magic is attached to the pixie dust. And then when the pixie dust touches you, the pixie dust will leave. But the magic can still attach to you if you want mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. So, like, let's say, like, I can think about her, like, ten years from now. And I'll still remember her as a sweet person. Mm -hmm. I was also thinking about, oh, shit. What was I going to say? Like... Even like when I like touch people, like that sounds weird, but like I'll touch, I'll, I, shut up. <laughs> I'll touch the older adult's hand a lot of the time because that's a sign that I'm showing care and trying to bring them peace. And so um, a lot of the time, sometimes it's jarring for them. Sometimes they don't like it and I'll move my hand away. Sometimes they really like it, they hold my hand back. Um, the, one, the woman I was just talking about, she'll hold my hand back. It's funny. I remember what I was going to say. Like, the, the feistiness in this woman, she... <laughs> I painted her nails, and she rested her hand on my leg. I was wearing jeans, and she got her nail polish on my leg. <laughs> my jeans. And I looked at her, and I was like... And I pointed. I was like, look what you did. And she was like, oh, you got some on your pants? And I was like... <laughs> I was no like, fucking... you got some on my pants! Not... <laughs> Not some. I'm, I'm sorry, you're laying on your, on your pants. No, you got some on your pants, idiot. <laughs> like, yeah, like I'm the. Like I'm... <laughs> My finger slipped. It is okay. It is okay. Yeah. So like, like I was the stupid one for having allowed her to touch my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Holy, I want to see something else. Um, in regards to my thought earlier about like time, like time, mm -hmm. and you know your your conglomerate of vibration. You, yes, you can decide which vibration you want to be in. You decide where, what feelings you're thinking about, and you can see what you're taking with you with what you're keeping in your storehouse, yeah. your, your unconscious, mm -hmm. and shadow work, and like meditation, and like your this that ability to look at your thoughts and your actions, and doing the metacognition to feel like, what is this coming from? Does this keep on coming with mm -hmm. me? That means I'm taking it with me, I'm carrying it with me. Mm -hmm. I'm so focused on the so vibration. For the people in the back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm focusing on this vibration still. I'm keeping it in my in my uh, my memory, like a RAM storage, like on a computer or something. Mm -hmm. And basically, you're able to minimize your overall focus on certain vibrations that could be bringing you down. It could be a super low mm -hmm. vibration. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're not realizing that we're not all 100% perfect. We're not just one vibration. We don't have 100% control over our entire, you know, unconscious and who we are, and we're still trying to gain that consciousness, gain that control over that. So when we do this, we still have certain parts of ourselves for certain vibrations that haven't brought us all the way up. Otherwise, we would just be gone. We'd already like have full consciousness of who we actually are, and we'd just be like, yeah, I'm just a ball of light. <laughs> okay, but seriously though, um, slowing it down for people in the back, I think it is really important We've been talking about this a lot, how we both have been feeling like we like children in a way. And I think that's really good because a lot of people 
have this idea of, oh, I can't do X, Y, Z, or you shouldn't, and they even like, okay, so some people will say, you can't do X, Y, Z. No, <clears throat> I can't do X, Y, Z, and they'll even displace that feeling onto someone else and say, you can't do X, Y, Z. That's mm. what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yes. And so that's because their processing speed does not compute with people, young women, I don't know, compute with the, that, new, that type of thinking. Like it doesn't, that input doesn't work. To each their own, exactly. That to each their own idea of, hey, I like wearing bucket hats because I used to have, I think I had a bucket hat when I was a kid. I loved bucket hats. And it looks stupid and silly and kind of ugly in a way. And I love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not going to tell, make other people wear bucket hats, except for him. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm also, if I didn't like bucket hats, I wouldn't be keeping other people from liking bucket hats or wearing bucket hats. You know what I mean? Like, because to each their own, everyone has their own thing that makes them happy. And it's different for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, the collective processing speed is now accepting that where it wasn't. Does that make sense? Mm. Yes. I'm gonna tell the story. So there is the story that started this. There is this woman um, at my job, and we were playing the drums to Amazing Grace, and she did not like that. She said, "You don't go bang bang in church. You don't hit the drum in church." And I said, "Well, that's how some people praise God." And she was livid <laughs> she hated every minute of everything i was saying and she was like well i went to church my since i was a very little girl like from two years old and i know that i never saw that in church and i said well that was your church we saw my other people do it differently and someone else was even chiming in another um, person and they were like yeah mm -hmm. that's how some other people do it and just she wouldn't drop it she wouldn't move on it didn't make sense to her that someone could do something that she wouldn't do and i understand that feeling on a really deep level i do like that's something that i felt a lot like how could you do xyz like anyone could do anything you know what i mean like mm -hmm. <laughs> under the right conditions yeah anyone mm -hmm. could be homeless anyone can be rich anyone can be I don't know you know what i mean like under the right or the wrong conditions anything can happen mm. anything like it shows you that that's basically your experience is independent from their experience exactly having the self-awareness to be like i'm me and you're you so what you're doing doesn't affect me mm -hmm. unless i want it to in unless that, in her case you, she's it, stressing the fuck out about them exactly being exactly unless i allow your conglomerate to affect my conglomerate of cells and energy <laughs> that's a funny way of looking at it it's so like yes i'm a like, conglomerate of cells and energy dum. why did you touch my conglomerate face did you stop <laughs> i don't think we should wrap it up oh, 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 okay let me finish let me finish up so yes your your conglomerate of energy is made up of different vibrations and i was going to say this you had the ability to focus on what your, what your consciousness is vibrating on in all the different ways and, and directions and vibration, the levels. And that is made, that makes up your, your the passage of time. It, it makes up like where you are, like how fast things are going, mm -hmm. what you're experiencing, how does it make you feel, how to make other people feel. And it's like, like we're not perfect in the present moment. The future us, future versions of us are perfect in certain in, in in their present moment in their present moment that's in the future so as we move on years and years we're on this life journey trying to you know make as much of us as high vibe as possible and the more it, it weighs you down the more you move on the more your focus is on so if you're on a higher focus the rest of you that still has not made the vibration change up to a higher one is going to weigh you down more and more mm -hmm. the farther you get away mm -hmm. it's like stretching yourself stretching yourself thin but stretching that the part that you're able to be having in your storehouse mm -hmm. i see what you're saying it's exactly like it's almost like the 
they start to manifest into a weight, like a like a weight, something that is or a hurdle, something that's literally blocking you from doing what you are were put on this earth to do. Mm. It's almost like a wall. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> it like I thought about like you remember watching the um the, the vision they were talking about your vision how it was like going I think it was the old person the old person you're training you're training and they were saw like you had like the the picture of basically what some people were going With, blind like, cataracts see. or something like yeah, that and yeah and it was a big ass like just hole in their vision Boom. I feel like it's like, like right that there. yeah and like probably you can just be like oh fuck like where's my left side of my vision because it's way down way below you. And the mm. rest, the rest of you is up here, and you gotta like manage that shit. I feel like I feel like for the most, for the way for you to live your life the best is you manage what what is holding you down the most. Mm -hmm. Like and let's like, say you have like a chronic illness. Like there are ways to live a happy life with your chronic illness, and I'm not trying to invalidate what's going on, but like there are ways to live your life with the barriers and blockages that have made your heart life harder. Mm -hmm. It may not be the richest life, <laughs> but it it's as rich as you want it to be. Mm. Whatever, remember the first video we talked about with Kristen, where everything that is going on in your life is self-serving to you. You're allowing it to serve you. Excuse me. You're allowing it to serve you. You're allowing it to be in your life because it is serving you. Mm. And, like, you get the certain you get a, a certain like viewpoint you get like a, a fucking flashlight right mm -hmm. and you can only see much at one time mm. so you're you know you can believe in heaven and believe in that what here is not is not going to matter but like at the time being your conglomerate is shine on the part that it matters more to affect your life what what happens in this mm -hmm. plane this third dimension going back to the drums mm -hmm. the, and, no drums in church i will die on this hill Yes. You will you have to choose. pick me up when I am cold and stiff. <laughs> and you can choose what hills you want to die on. Like, if you're, let's say you're going to be blind in this lifetime and it's like something you can't change right now, you can choose to be like, this is my... the worst thing that has ever happened to me. Mm hmm. And or. Hold on to that. Right? Or. Or. Or <laughs> you can be like, I understand while I'm in this flesh that my body is going to be like this. My body is not my consciousness. My body is higher than this. I can get my focus over to that part of me that is leaving that part behind and feeling more whole again and more like everything is right mm -hmm. like there there's i don't remember her name there's a youtuber she's blind she dyes her hair by herself does her makeup by herself she's a fashionista like <laughs> she puts together things she, like she decorates things like your blockages block you as much as you choose to let it block you mm -hmm. You can run out of gas in the middle of the road and still, um, still be all right. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm it's still how you handle the situations that you've been given. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You can change what the weather is. You can't change what the weather is. Only how you react to it. You can't change what the weather is, but you can change how you weather it. Yes. I like that. Can't change what the weather is, but you can change how you weather it. I like that. The storm and shit. That shit's hard. Please stop. <laughs> You're welcome. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's really what I wanted to say. Like it, it really outlines like how you're able to conceptualize where you are as a person and everything and vibration in general and how it moves along in the future and as you go on your journey of life. Um, but yes, and how, a little bit of tips in there as well. But um, thank you for watching this video. Um, I had a lot of fun making it. I feel like I was in fucking flow. Horns of the bull. Mouth of the bull. We oh, yeah! Motherfucker, you just made it to the end of the video. Um, just wanted to say, guys, I right to my right here. You got another video on my channel. Go watch that. What you got right here? another video on my channel go watch that one which got here in the middle right here you got some links to my music channel and my radio channel give me a follow you already know what's going on uh yeah come back for more thank you i'm out here like i said heart of a bull we out toro